welcome back to STEM in the House. I am your host, Dr. Adams. In our last Let's Build Bridges exploration, we talked about and actually built a bridge made out of drinking straws with masking and or scotch tape with toothpicks as an option. And we built the bridge and actually tested like a civil engineer would test a bridge for strength to see how many cars or boats or whatever the vehicles are would be able to pass over the bridge. And what we discovered with my bridge engineers, my bridge held 206 marbles. How many marbles or coins did your bridge hold? Great job team engineers and your parents. So now we are going to go on to a second build, still focus on bridge building. There is geometry or the math of shapes that's related to bridges. Engineers actually do consider shapes when they are building bridges because they need the strongest shapes to prepare bridges for trucks, cars, and people to pass over. So let's talk about our last bridges in our last challenge. First, we one of the bridges we talked about was a suspension bridge. Next, we talked about beam bridges. See any geometry in that bridge? Any shapes? Our next bridge that we talked about truss bridge. I bet you recognize that one, scientists and parents. Triangles. And our last bridge, the arch. Looks like a half circle, doesn't it? So our three main shapes we're going to talk about today are squares or rectangles, the arch shape, and triangles. The materials that you will need for this challenge are index cards, once again two flat surfaces, a ruler, scissors once again, engineers, you may need a parent to help if they're sharp like my scissors, masking or scotch tape, and we need weights. If you still have your marble weights from our last challenge, you can use these along with a cup, preferably a cup that's smaller than this scientist and engineer. I am going to use a different weight this time. I'm going to use small toy cars to test our bridge to see how strong it is. So basically, we will go through the same steps as our last challenge, but we will be using different materials. So let's get started. So you need your index card and your scissors. What we are going to do is we are going to cut the index card into strips to form our shapes. The square, arch shape or half circle, and triangle. But we are going to make these shapes smaller for our bridges. So we will cut, you have an index card that has the red line at the top. We are going to cut the red line off the top of the card. Then we are going to cut the card in half. It's about two finger widths wide. And there's a little excess on the bottom. We're gonna take that off the bottom. And now our strips are ready to go. So first shape that we will make is a triangle. We will make that by taking the strip, folding it in half, and then taking another strip and cutting it in half for the bottom of the triangle. 
taking our tape, putting it here, taking our other piece of tape, putting it here, and voila, a triangle. Our next shape, same strip size, the long strip, the half strip, but this time we are going to make an arch. So we take our tape, arch or, or put our other side on, and there we have an arch. Our last shape, the square. Take two long strips, fold them in half. They're like upside down letter L's. We are going to tape them together. And now we have a square. So a triangle, an arch, and a square. So remember my vein bridge from my last bridge challenge? It was flat. So similar to this, our index card, flat card, will become the roadway for our bridge. You will be able to choose either a combination of the box or square shape. These will be the sides of our road and we will combine squares. There's the road. So you need to start thinking about engineers and parents, which type of bridge you want to build. Here's our other combination of triangles. Notice how I've combined the triangles along the side of the road. Notice how I've combined the squares on the side of the road. You will have to put these geometric shapes on both sides. Keep in mind for our weight bearing strength challenge uh, part of our building that you need to place these wide enough for cars to fit in between for us to stack the load. And our last shape, the art shape. So here we have the arch. So on each card, you need to put these on both sides. We have the triangle and we have the square. You get to choose. So right now, stop and think with your pencil and paper. Once again, always about the design engineers. Sketch out which type of bridge you are going to build. Go. So engineers and parents, I've decided to do the triangle bridge. My uh, bridge will have triangles on each side and I need to leave enough space in between when I'm taping the sides for a car, your small car to fit. If you are going to do marbles, then you will have to extend this onto the edge of the car so that we can fit the weight in the middle to see how much weight it can take. So which shape did you decide on using, engineers and parents? I chose the triangle. Did you choose triangle? Or did you choose the arch? Or did you choose the square? Now it's time to build. So here is the criteria or list of requirements for your bill. There's a new vocab word, criteria. Your bridge is to be eight inches across. Remember our last challenge was 12, eight inches across. So if you take your ruler, your index card is about maybe five inches across. So you are going to need approximately two of these cards to be able to attach it to your surfaces. You're gonna measure out your eight inches. Move your surfaces cl closer together. Oops, my surface almost collapsed. 
eight inches and then begin building so that we can test our bridge again because every good civil engineer tests their structures to see if they successfully are able to support the people, cars, and other vehicles that need to travel over. You may begin. ready to tape our bridges to our flat surfaces. Remember, it needed to be eight inches across. Any extra overhang can be used to connect it to our flat surface. I chose once again the triangular shape. What shape did you choose? Square, maybe the arch. Remember, this can be a competition. You can compete engineers against your parents or maybe your brothers and sisters to see who builds the strongest bridge. The point is, just have fun at it. So now I have connected my bridge to my flat surfaces as much as possible. I believe I have it anchored down. And now I'm going to test it with my weights, my miniature cars to see how many cars my bridge will hold. So let's see. All right, let's begin. Car number one, car number two. Car number three. Car number four. Car number five. Car number six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Oops. So, engineers, it appears that my bridge was pretty sturdy because this is 21 toy cars and it has not broken yet. But as you can see, you're starting to see the bridge sag. I believe that at approximately four or five more toy cars, my bridge would have broken. So I'd say approximately 25 toy cars to break my bridge. How many cars or marbles was your bridge able to hold? How sturdy was it? So what did you learn about shapes? Would it be the square, the arch, or the triangle? In your spare time, engineers, maybe build one of each and compare your results. Until next time, this is Dr. Adams from STEM in Your House signing off. Mm -hmm.